So it's the 3rd of May, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I can safely say summer has arrived here in Spain. Uh, last night it was so hot, I had to kick off the bed clothes. That's always a good sign. The weather the past couple of days has really warmed up, coming up into the 30s. So yeah, summer has arrived. <laughs> Just a reminder, if you look below the video, will be all the information about this video, the equipment I use and the music. Top left hand corner will be videos related to this video. Also, if you check out my playlist, I got loads guys. All about living in Spain. Also, if you want to fund me, that would be fantastic. There'll be a link below the video. Buy me a coffee. That would be most appreciated. Anyway, less of the babbling. Enjoy the vid and uh, I'll catch you next time. Oh yeah, keep watching. So I called this summer has arrived. Last October, the 30th, I did another video. Winter has arrived. It's taken all this time for the summer to arrive. <laughs> now for people that live in Spain, you know what I'm on about. You just pull that switch, summer's here. It happens that quickly. Now on the 3rd of May, I got up, wham, yep. Summer's here. It, that weekend, it was up in the 30s. Just to explain whereabouts I am, because obviously trying to explain about Spain and the temperatures, it's such a huge place. If you're down in the south, or you're down in the islands near Morocco, where, yeah, the summer's totally different. You get a lot longer summers, but here, I would sort of say it's mid-range. So, I'm in the Costa Calida, southeast of Spain, Murcia region, I'm just outside the town of Maveron, big urbanization called Campasol. I've been over here for about over four years now. In my last video about the winter, I'll sort of give you a quick idea what you need to do. And then all this video is about, really, it's just gonna be a short video about the summer, how we prepare for it. So, like I said, it just happens just like that. Pull of the switch, it's here. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah. I got me change of clothing now. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was still in my trousers, my socks. That's all gone now. I'm in my shorts. Been wearing my t-shirt for ages anyway. Uh, a lot more use of the sunglasses. Socks are gone, sandals are on now. <laughs> Okay, so when you're looking at property, the thing you want to look out for, obviously, when you go inside a property, is ceiling fans. Make sure they work. If they've got aircon, that's a bonus. Also, if they have got aircon, just check how old the machines are. If they're old machines, they probably don't work very well. So, something to put in the price. If they're brand new, well, that's fantastic. And you probably need aircon in your main rooms obviously your bedrooms and your, and your lounge um, obviously talking about apartments a little bit different but yeah especially in a, in a villa probably two or three aircon machines now the new aircon machines are pretty economic you know they don't cost a lot to run really now another thing you've got to think about as well is obviously in the winter time you can use the aircon to heat now if you've got an apartment that's probably all you're going to need is a couple of aircon machines especially in the winter time as well but obviously in the summer yeah keeping the house cool because it's going to get hot i mean we're, we're just the start of may now we've got june july august is especially here it's going to be up in the 40s so another thing to think about guys if you're thinking about buying property in spain is come out in the seasons especially the summer come out in august if you can because it is hot some people don't like it you know some people i've known people to come here after a couple of years they just can't take the heat now some people actually go back to the uk during the summer months and come out here in the winter time that's up you know that's if that's what you want to do fair enough so d just bear that in mind as well and obviously come in the winter time as well. just just get just adapt yourself because the weather conditions are different and to some people it might be not too, you know, it could be too much for them. Okay, the dreaded mozzie. Now, we've had a really wet past month, and now the mozzie's about. Um, now, for me, I'm pretty lucky, really. <laughs> they, they do bite me, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not going to say they don't bite me, uh, but I don't wear any chemicals or magic sprays 
Um, they, they, they don't seem to bother me. I know the Tiger Mozzie is a little bit different. I, you know, if you're going to get bitten, you're going to get bitten. Now my wife's a bit like a pin cushion. She's got fairer skin, and yeah, she gets bitten quite a lot. And she uses all the uh, lotions and all the other things. So anybody that's living in Spain, and I know a lot of people, you, you guys in Spain, are watching my vids now. Please put your comments down below for other people. Uh, what's worked for you and what hasn't worked for you? Because I don't use them. I, you know, I wouldn't know what sort of repellents are better than others. Um, the other thing is, what's the other thing? <laughs> flies. Going to get flies here. Now where we are, we live in a, a farming area, so you're going to get, you are going to get flies. And depending on where you are, it varies from year to year. Some years we don't get nothing, and some years, yeah, we do get a lot of flies. I, we haven't got them yet because of this shut down um, we usually get these containers now what I will do in a, uh, a couple of videos time I'll show you the fly traps that we use they work they work really well um, they smell they smell like fish what you tend to do is put them away from the sort of property tracks of flies gets rid of them so yeah so another thing to think about in the property itself fly screens if you got fly screens bonus because you ain't got to worry about getting them. If it hasn't got fly screens, you probably look around. That's, that's what I always say about when you visit in a place. Have a look around. You will see places that's got fly screens up. Now, some places will actually have fly screens built around there, sort of sitting there. Now, we, we, we don't seem to get bothered with it, but some people do. And that's mainly to do with, if it's an empty property, it's got a pool. If it goes green, you can report them to the council and the council can sort it out because uh, they're pretty hot on it. And I, Vinny, give me a Vinny, my friend from other world properties, give me a, a I will put it below. It's uh, an app. It's called it's called Green Line, but it's I will, anyway. You understand if you look below if you want to know about it. It's an app. It's ta it's to do with the council. You report that you've had a you know, if you've got a lot of mozzies, and that they bring around this little truck that's got this. I'll call it a puffer truck, <laughs> and that seems to do it, because you will, I don't care what they say, wherever you go in Spain, you get mozzies, um, it's just something that you have to put up with, some people don't like it, and this is more, another reason why it's a good idea that if you come into Spain to rent first, just to get a feel for the place, don't just come here and um, buy it on a weekend, please, but I know it happens. But yeah, so I thought I'd just give you a quick idea of what's happened now. So summer's arrived at long last. I've been waiting for this. And now we're, me and the wife are probably going to say in the next week or so, oh, we can't wait till it gets cool again. But it's arrived. It's time to uh, soak it in. Now, I know people already are in the pool. I, I, I'm not going to be in that pool until probably about end of June, July. August <laughs> to me it's I mean you obviously you can get pool I've seen a guy the other day he made up some DIY pool heater with a, a small solar panel thing with some piping says it seems to work but to me nah I'm quite happy waiting that long I'm not I'm not a great lover of the pools but I do like to sit beside it it gives you that relaxation thing so anyway hope you enjoy it like I said before, if you've got any comments you want to add, you know, what sort of tips and what you do during the summer, that would be fantastic. Because a lot of people, you know, like to know. And as I always say, you've got to keep watching, guys. You're going to miss something. And anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Well, I'll just uh, soak in the sun. Mm -hmm.